Today we're going into the Infanta Caravan Factory, which is near Swellendam in South Africa, to have a look around their Inkulu 4x4 off-road caravan. This is the biggest of our line. This is called the Inkulu 4. It's a double axle braked caravan which is um, designed for off-road and it's a fully integrated um, solution. So we have a solar system, we have a power, power controllers, we have a full kitchen, um, a full double bed, uh, bathroom inside with shower, a lounge area, um, dressing room area, uh, TV entertainment system, large awnings and all the extras you could want. The solar panels, are they only on the roof? Yes, yeah. We have, on this model we have three 105 watt panels managed by our controllers. Okay, and you've got a whole lot of uh, partitions on the outside here that I can see. Can you show me what they are? Let's go from the front. This is our wash bay. have a tap here with water that's off. Mm -hmm. Okay, full those. Can you use that for a shower outside? Obviously you can. We have a shower inside, but you can okay. use it for a shower outside. Hot and cold water or just cold? Hot and cold water. Okay, so how do you control the, the hot and cold in this one? There's a setting inside here for on off and hot and, hot and cold. We have a range of shelves that fit all the way along the caravan. So these, these rope molds are all the way around the caravan, so you can take a, various shelves and slot them in wherever you want. And there's some plugs for, for lighting in certain areas. So you can have lighting over the washing bay and over other areas. There's just a, there's a few storage compartments. This is one. Just lots of lots of areas to, to store. This is a, a 90 litre fridge. And here we have our kitchen section. Everything is the right counter height for a kitchen. And it has all the all the extras that you need. This is a KDAC um, gas gas burner. Two, two and two plates plate KDAC gas burner. Yep. And then does the caravan come with all the knives and forks and everything? It does, it does. That's the that's the standard. Raising the roof is as simple as pressing a button. It takes 25 seconds to get the roof up and about the same to get the awning out. It tilts on one side because the back part of the caravan is inaccessible. The back part is the bathroom and the bed area. So you only need headroom on the front side. The back side of the caravan, just two jerry cans or you can have uh, gas bottles or extra wheels. And there's one standard extra wheel, but some people want two or three. Over here we have what we call the hot rack in Afrikaans, the wood rack, so that you can, whatever wood you find on your journey, you can just store at the back here for the night's fire. This is your 220 volt uh, um, charger, so if you get to a campsite, you can plug it in here. But the whole system can work with the solar panels alone. The only time you need 220 is to top up the batteries, but the solar system that can handle. Over here we've got two um, 105 amp hour batteries, mm -hmm. which is more than sufficient to handle both fridges for two, three days of no sun. Mm -hmm. And this is the water inlet for, for the water tank. But here we have our, our bed. It's a, it's a hard shell bed, and it's very easy to, to open up. You just pull it out, one finger's enough. 
more than one finger. And then it clips in place. Once you've opened up the slide out portion of the bed, all that's left is to flip the mattress over and you just clip it over and push it back. It's a queen size bed and we have this honeycomb mattress topper which makes for a very comfy sleep. And over here we have access to change the toilet or to empty the, the camping toilet. Does it work on a cartridge yes. system? Okay. Over here we have our air conditioner which only runs on 220 volts. The front section is just for a few spades and gas bottles and you can store some wood in the front if need be. It's a simple step to pull up and then we can take a look inside. As you come in, there's a large, large fridge for your drinks and a freezer at the top of that. So you've got two fridges? Yes. In this section we have uh, uh, an extra bed set up or you can make up the, a table, a lounge area just by pulling this out, attaching your table, table leg and there we have your table. In every possible place we have storage, so underneath Underneath this section, there's, uh, there's drawers, and in this section we have more drawers, and underneath the seats at the back, there's open areas for more storage. Uh, this is for the fridge, and the geyser, and the water pump, and this tells you what the solar pump and the batteries are doing at the moment. And there's uh, USB chargers. We have a built-in TV, which you can move as you need. But most importantly, you can open the window and face it for outside. So you can flip the whole TV around and watch from outside. This is where we keep the DVD setup and the remotes and the plugs for this multimedia center. And here we have the radio with its remote control. So I see your windows have um, lifts. Yes, the, they gas, they gas struts, and it, at any point that you that you put them, they'll stay. There's no set, which is very handy. The windows also have a built-in a built-in blank blackout and a built-in mosquito net. All the windows. We have a privacy scene screen to the back side of the caravan where the bathroom and the changing room is. This is the bathroom inside the caravan, which has a toilet, a sink and a shower. And it's a, it's a wet room. It's a wet room. You can wash it down afterwards. The tap for the sink just extends and becomes a shower head, which is over here. And the toilet does swivel. Inside we have a mini kitchenette which has a sink and a, a small two burner which is quite handy if you want to make coffee in the morning. This is the dressing room area with plenty of cupboard space for all of your all of your clothes and a little bit of hanging space in the back. Drawers and cupboards more space under the sink. This camper is designed and built by campers for campers, for comfort and for luxury, luxury camping.